wrapping this up a little bit for you, there's a quick introduction to the 14 clubs that we use in the bag. So today we're going to talk about golf clubs, golf equipment, and I uh, just wanted to introduce a set of golf clubs to you. So the maximum number of clubs we're allowed to carry when we're playing is 14 clubs. The longest club is the driver, the number one. Normal, normally now they're about 45 inches long for the men and uh, very high tech, a lot of technology in the driver. And we'll talk about that later. So we have the driver, then we have our fairway woods, our rescue clubs, which are a hybrid between the irons and the woods. So the irons now are numbered, you know, I picked up a five iron here and the difference between a five iron and a six iron is a six iron has four degrees more loft on the club face, generally the shaft is about half an inch shorter, so the higher number will hit the ball a shorter distance. But this is the way that we have a set of clubs that come from the most lofted club, the five iron, right down to the wedge. And then the wedge here, I'll just show you quickly actually, whilst we're doing it. The wedge has the most loft on it. And when I'm talking about loft, I'm talking about how high the ball will be hit off the club face. So here I've got a 52 degree wedge and that ball will take off at that height. And then if I take the five iron quickly, I'll show you the five iron will take off much lower and go further. So that's the concept we use in a set of golf clubs. We have one more club, probably the most important club in your bag if you're going to play this game for the high standard, and this is the putter. Now the putter is the shortest club, and it's used for rolling the ball on the green. So the, even this club has a small amount of loft angle on it, and that's about three degrees. Okay, so when we're starting off, we're just learning the game, we want to practice and get very familiar with one club. And traditionally we use a seven iron for that because it's in the middle of the range. It's not the longest club, it's not the shortest club. But as you progress, I strongly recommend that you practice with three clubs each practice session. So I would recommend that you practice with a wedge, practice some short chip shots, then build that up, then use a seven iron, a mid iron, and hit four shots with that, and then hit with your driver. So a good way to do that would be to hit 10 balls with each of these clubs. Then when you go onto the golf course or you play one of the courses on the simulator, you've got control of these different lengths of clubs. Don't just spend week after week practicing with one club. Once you've got the basics learned, practice with three different clubs to become more skillful at the game. So just wrapping this up a little bit for you, there's a quick introduction to the 14 clubs that we use in the bag. Obviously, as you can become more interested in the game, you can understand more about the special effects that the club can make on your swing. But a uh, quick introduction on the set and also how to practice. So look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching these videos from Upper Loft. It's been great fun. I've really enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed it. And please like, share and comment. And I look forward to seeing you again soon.